Hey guys, this is Andreas from Pocketables.com and in this video I'm going to show you version 3 of my uh, tasker based to-do list system. So if you've been following my articles about tasker, uh, maybe even from the beginning, I basically started using tasker because it su uh, was supported by Astri to-do list, uh, which is an app. Um, and then as I got more familiar with Tasker, I ended up making my own to-do list system to actually replace Astrid. Uh, and then as time went by, I learned new methods for uh, how I could do that. So I made version 2 of the list, uh, which was shown as, an ex as the example in part 7 of my Tasker guide. And then basically this is version 3 or maybe even 3.5 because I redone it again it's faster it has more features than the second version uh, just as the second version had more features and was faster than the first version so basically I'm going to run through some of the things I have done so there's actually quite a few hidden shortcuts on my home screen right now so I'm going to go into my generic to-do list which is uh, not up there there we go which is basically what I use for uh, writing down stuff like articles to check out or maybe write and stuff like that so if you saw uh, part 7 of the tasker guide you sort of recognize this because it was almost it looked identical it actually works completely different uh, it's faster and everything but the layout is more or less the same except for these two buttons down here that you can you can probably not see my finger but uh, there's a microphone icon and a, a camera icon so Basically, just to run through basic operation of this app, um, you can select a single click to be asked if you want to delete. I'm not going to do that. Um, you can also ha uh, hold down and be asked to clear the entire list. And you can use this plus button to add several different uh, tasks at once and it doesn't have to reload like uh, I think it was version 2 and I had to you had to reload the system for it to actually split them so you can just do it like that uh, and then the save button which actually saves to the file is the uh, the check mark which is completely separate so it doesn't save uh, unless you um, unless you click that one and if you long click it you uh, leave without saving so uh, the couple of new features one is this microphone button which allows you to add stuff via voice so the interesting thing here is that uh, a reader and I actually made voice input systems more or less at the same time uh, and I went my usual route, which means overly complicated, and added it to my Nelly to-do list. Uh, no, my Nelly voice assistant. Which basically means that it's completely external from this to-do list uh, scene. Uh, which also complicated it, because you had, to, you had to read the items from the file and then work with it. But then uh, a reader actually made this addition to the one I'm actually using right here. Uh, made this addition... Uh, as well it's it's much simpler it's so much simpler it's basically just a version of the uh, add button that uses voice input instead of variable query uh, it's it's much easier it's it's much more efficient so uh, you basically just click and then you say cake and then it adds like that and uh, if you can actually get it to understand it you can also go like Apples, comma, bananas. And you can add several items just by saying comma in between. Um, the second thing I added was a, uh, a sort of a photo uh, to-do list uh, thingy. So it's a bit dark, but what happens when you click this button?
that it okay that probably didn't work at all but it does take a picture it doesn't work now because it's the i i um, i turned off the lights to to make the video but it basically uses taskers take photo feature to take a picture with the uh, rear facing camera which uh, applies flash settings and all that automatically focuses and everything like that so you don't have camera control it, it just basically takes the picture automatically and then it pops up something that you can add to it so uh, like test and then it adds it uh, in this format so um, test that's uh, that's the title you gave it photo is an identifier uh, just to to make the system know that it's a photo item and then the number at the end is actually the time in seconds when when the photo was taken uh, and the reason why you have that one over there is that when you now long click on it it opens it up in the photo viewer so it actually did take a photo um, <laughs> as you can see um, so if I just go back into the list, uh, it's saved when I open the photo, uh, so it's still there. Uh, you can delete it like uh, any other, of course. And that's, it basically just open the photo by long pressing. And if you do long press on any of the others, you now get the ability to edit it using variable query. So um, yeah, that's basically it. Just save out of it. I do have five to-do lists right now. The only one I have, uh, which is actually updated. Also, you can see that drop sync is going off. That's because I saved it, so it's syncing the file. Now, the only one that's updated is the generic one. Uh, the other ones haven't gotten the photo feature or anything like that. But I can actually show you how, um, how the uh, features work. So, first of all, you have actually photo add is quite simple it basically just uh, first off it sets uh, a variable identifier to time in seconds that's because if I use just time in seconds uh, without first transferring it to a variable it, it would actually differ because I use it in two different places so then it would be different and it wouldn't work so I transfer that to its own variable first take a uh, photo with the the rear facing camera save it as uh, with the file name identifier which then is uh, unique from time to time because it's time in seconds uh, then you do a variable query for the title and then it sets that to uh, actually sets item to add variable to the title space photo dash and then the identifier uh, so that saves the actual item and then in the scene um, for the item long tap you have two different uh, two different features here one is edit the other one is uh, uh, open photo so if tap label which is the variable that's created when you when you tap something uh, contains the photo identifier which is used to separate uh, the photo items uh, it sets the variable file open to basically just copy tap label and then we split it uh, which gives uh, we split it by the dash which then gives us the identifier as the second child variable and then you open the file using the uh, the variable that you just uh, got the file open to which then contains the time in second uh, identifier so because you save that uh, you save the photo as that name uh, and you also stored it in the to do item you can actually uh, extract that and use it to open the file so it's actually very very simple um, similarly the voice add is also quite simple uh, everything that's uh, on the bottom here is just from the usual uh, add system uh, so the only real difference between the one that tops up a variable query and the one that uses voice is that uh, it ask it uses get voice and then it transfers uh, the voice data into the item to add variable which is then used in the rest so you have uh, 
you basically have three um, three ways of adding that both do the same for the second half of the task and then it's just the first one that uh, really differs so yeah uh, I'm maybe do I, I might do an article showing how this is built up uh, the basic concepts of adding a voice uh, voice system and uh, also a photo system would also work on version 2 which there's a uh, guide for on the site in part 7 of the guide uh, but version 3 is a lot more efficient it fixes a couple of bugs uh, the real difference is when you try to delete uh, a whole bunch of uh, or also both when it starts up and also when you try to delete a whole bunch of items uh, it's much 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 faster so yeah, that's just a basic rundown of uh, version 3 or 3.5 of the tasker-based to-do list. I have to say that uh, between this, the features I've shown you now, and the ability to remotely add using auto-remote, uh, I'm very glad that I'm not using any of the stock Android to-do lists anymore because they're so limited and you, you, you basically tied down to whatever the man, uh, the developer thinks you're going to need. So I do encourage people to make their own. Uh, it's a bit of work, but once you have it working, it's just, just a breeze to, to actually use. So that's it. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out all the tasker coverage on pocketables.com.